Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Today's video is an airport slash travel outfit ideas video. This was actually a requested video and I feel like now that people are starting to travel and holidays are approaching, the summer months are fast approaching. I thought it would be quite a nice opportunity for me to put together this outfits ideas video for you. Hopefully this will help if you have any upcoming travels and you're not quite sure what to wear to the airport. To be honest with you, for me, the main thing about a travel outfit is comfort. I want to feel comfortable whether I am flying on a plane or on a boat maybe, or even a road trip, like any sort of travel, the most important thing for me is to feel comfortable. So these outfits have comfort as my top priority, but then also, you know, we're throwing in a little bit of fashion there, just a little bit of style, just to feel a little more put together. I find that depending on where you're traveling, whether it be a summer beach holiday or a city break, your outfit will kind of vary depending on that. Also, depending on the time of arrival, if you will sort of arrive at your destination and go straight out exploring, or if you're arriving and you're going straight to sleep. Dependent on whatever you're doing at the time of arrival, I feel like it does also alter your travel outfit. So I have three outfits to share with you. I've kept it short and sweet because to be honest with you, when it comes to my own travel travel outfit. I feel like there's only ever a slight variation between them all. It will be a variation of one of these three outfits depending on my destination, time of arrival and so on. So let's start off with outfit number one. This one I have in mind a beach holiday. So I've started off this outfit with my white plissé trousers. This whole look revolves around these white plissé trousers. I love plissé trousers throughout the summer. I think they're great for a summer holiday. They're great for a a resort holiday, a beach holiday, anything like that. I just think these trousers are absolutely fabulous. So that's what I've decided to go for here. These are white, so I think they're really perfect for the summer months because they will pop beautifully against a tan. These are actually part of a two-piece set, so I do also have the matching shirt for this outfit. However, for traveling, for me personally, I feel like a t-shirt is a little bit more appropriate. I just feel a bit more comfortable in a t-shirt. So basically what I'll do with an outfit like this that is supposed to be a two-piece what I will have in my suitcase is that white matching shirt so that then I can wear the matching co-ord whilst on holiday so that's another great tip for you if you have outfits that you love wear them whilst you're traveling as well so that they save some space in your suitcase rather than wearing items that you're not going to get anywhere out of whilst on holiday as well you want to make the most out of all the items that you're able to take with you on holiday what you're wearing and also what is in your suitcase so that's a little tip for you and so I've paired this quite casually with a biker jacket. A biker jacket is a really great piece of outerwear to have. If you are at the beach, it can get a little bit cooler in the evening sometimes, so it is always worth having some sort of outerwear with you. And also, it will definitely come in handy on your way to and on your way from your beach holiday, particularly if you're coming back to somewhere cold and sometimes rainy like the UK. So it's always good to have a piece of outerwear with you and even better if you can wear it whilst you're traveling so that it doesn't take up space in your suitcase. For this outfit, I decided to go for sandals. These are Birkenstocks and they're so comfortable. I think if I were to travel in sandals, it will always be something comfy like Birkenstocks because they're really easy to slip on and off. If you need to take them off through security or for whatever reason, it's really simple to do so. It's also a nice way to show off your pedicure and show off your tan as well. And also, to be honest, sandals like Birkenstocks can actually be a little bit chunky in your suitcase. So once again, if you're able to wear them as part of your travel look, even better one less bulky thing in the suitcase I've also got a straw hat with me as I said kind of beach holiday vibes you don't want your hat to get ruined inside of your suitcase so typically I will take it with me wear it with me whilst traveling and then I also have a straw bag and then my suitcase of course and that is airport look number one travel outfit number two is a great one for a city break I imagine wearing this outfit arriving in the city and going straight out and exploring so what I've got on here are a pair of jeans. I feel like jeans are a little bit controversial because I know people who absolutely loathe traveling in jeans. I would never even think about wearing a pair of jeans whilst traveling. However, for me, jeans are possibly my go-to when it comes to travel options. I just feel really comfortable in my jeans. Then I always designate jeans as like my travel outfit and then I'll also wear these on holiday as well if I need to. So let me know 
what you think about traveling in jeans. Is it a yes for you or is it a no for you? Let me know in the comments down below. But as I wanted this to be an outfit that is good and ready to go, I've just got on a white crop top, which I really love here. And then over the top, I've popped on a white linen shirt as well. So once again, we've got those summer classic vibes, which I love, but somewhat more appropriate for both travel and for a city as well. If it's warm, you can take off your shirt and you've just got a nice crop top and jeans combo. And even if you're arriving somewhere hotter, you can have a pair of shorts in your handbag, for example, and then swap into those as you arrive at your destination. I think that's a really great option as well. I would also wear something like this with a t-shirt, but I didn't want to show you two outfits wearing a t-shirt. As I mentioned at the start of this video in my intro, that basically, I usually go for a variation of these three looks. So for example, I could mix and match the crop top with the plisse trousers, or I could match the t-shirt with these jeans, for example. And I think all of these looks are actually quite interchangeable, which is great. And then for footwear here, I've gone for trainers. Usually I do travel in trainers, particularly if I am flying, I just find it easier. And it's another item that's going to be quite bulky if you have to carry trainers in your suitcase. So if you're doing a little bit of exploring, maybe you're going on like a hike or something, or you're going to a little hidden beach and you need some footwear that is a bit more appropriate and a bit more withstanding to different terrains, I think trainers is always a really good option. These are my Vasia trainers, which I think are really chic as well. So whether it be a beach holiday or whether it be a city break, just a pair of comfortable trainers. And for me, Vasias are perfect for that category, perfect to fill that category. And then the rest of my accessories are just the same. They're the same throughout. So I've got on a little basket bag, which will be perfect for a city break or any sort of holiday as well. And then my suitcase. On to my final airport look. This one is kind of the most casual, but also the one that I think looks the nicest, funnily enough. So this is actually, I've never traveled in anything like this, to be completely honest with you. This is definitely inspired from Instagram and inspired from the people I follow and other airport outfits that I've seen so far this year. And honestly, when I put on this outfit, I was like, why have I never traveled in literally like leggings in gym wear, basically? It's so comfy. So my outfit here is really quite simple. I've just got on a black racer back top. So the top isn't any sort of gym gear or anything like that. It is just a classic racer back top, something that I get a lot of wear out of whilst on holiday. But then I have my like gym leggings. These are a pair of Nike high-waisted leggings. Really love these. I think they're so nice. I just think they look really good and they're really flattering. And the thing is, I was thinking about this outfit and I thought, but typically I wouldn't like work out on holiday. So why would I take gym leggings or, or just leggings in general in my travel outfit if I won't really use this whilst on holiday. However, I feel like leggings are such a little item that don't take up much space when you're wearing them. And also if I have to end up putting them in my suitcase, they're not going to take up that much space. And I think this outfit is cool. So I thought I'd share it anyway, but it's all black. So black racer back top, black high-waisted leggings. Then I've gone for some long white socks, which I think are very trendy at the moment. And then I decided to go for my black high top Converse. So pretty much keeping this as quite a dark black outfit, but I really like it. Converse for me, I find so comfy as well. So they're a really great walking shoe and they're also not gonna take up that space within my suitcase if I am wearing them as I travel. It does typically tend to get chilly, whether it be in the UK, whether it be on a plane, for example, even on a plane, sometimes I think it gets a little bit cold. So it's always good to have a layering item. And here, rather than having a jacket or a shirt, what I've got is a jumper for now, just over my shoulders. So quite a little trendy piece as well. Jumper over the shoulders, very fashion girl-esque. But that's what I've got for the travel look, but when it gets colder, of course, I can just throw on this jumper. It's a nautical style striped black and white jumper. One that I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of whilst on holiday in the summer this year, actually. So that's why I decided to go for this one. I didn't want to pick out a jumper that I wouldn't wear whilst on holiday. And I feel like this one is perfect to wear whilst on holiday. So that's why I'm wearing it here. Once again, not taking up space in my suitcase if I'm wearing it whilst I travel. And then I've kept the rest the same, my basket bag which whilst not probably the most best suited for leggings and quite a casual outfit like I'm wearing here it is perfect for a summer holiday and I wouldn't go on any summer holiday without taking my basket bag along with me and you don't want these to get ruined in your suitcase so the best thing to do is to use it as your travel bag so that's what I've got here and then my suitcase of choice by the way my suitcase throughout this video is an away suitcase this is their carry-on suitcase in all white it is a little bit battered I can't lie but I do do use this suitcase 
every time I travel, whether it be just a short staycation in the UK or whether I'm traveling abroad on an airplane, this suitcase will always be with me. So those were my three airport looks. Let me know which outfit was your favorite in the comments down below. If you have any upcoming summer travel plans, then please do let me know in the comments down below. I would really love to find out if you are heading anywhere on holiday this year. I am very fortunately going to Portugal again this summer. I usually spend my summers in Portugal and this year I am doing the same. So you'll see me traveling to Portugal very soon. But in the meantime, I have lots more summer styling and summer outfits inspiration videos coming your way. So if you're not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do click that subscribe button. It's completely free to do so. And it just means that you'll stay up to date with my new and upcoming video uploads. So please do subscribe. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more travel and more summer holiday content, then please give this video a thumbs up as well. Don't forget to subscribe as I already mentioned. A very big thank you for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you all soon. Bye!